It doesn't make sense, you know. For some reason, I just don't get it. How come the people I know said to step back and do something stupid, and most of all, try to leave us? Today and yesterday, something like that happened. I may, I had to do a stream about it, and he might have saw us, and yeah, he did, and he, he left. So, what is this about? It's about Jen's doing something that I think is pretty much unacceptable. But before I can get into all this, let me start from the beginning. So, in the beginning of the week, like on Monday... Rotten Tomatoes had the balls to release the Rotten Tomatoes score for the movie The Little Mermaid. It was at a 71 on Rotten Tomatoes. And, yeah, we were all pissed off. We hated the movie and all that. We, we all hated it. Every one of us despised the crap out of the movie. From the beginning in, in D23... And so on and so on. While me and Neff are regularly saying a lot of shit, Jens had the balls to make a stream called The End of Cinema As We Know It. But that was after this thing happened. After he made that stream, well, before he made that stream, um, he, there was a time in one of my streams where he would have a name called Our Darkest Hour is Here. And I didn't say with some, some annoyed kind of voice. He thought I did, but I tried to ask him why is his name like that? Why did he change his name like that? Is it because of the Little Mermaid? Or something else. And this started the whole possibly back, possibly quitting the MTM, MT, M, MTPMC community and all that dumb fucking crap. You know. It's so dumb in community when one of your friends who has been trusted for two years. Decides to go a wall on you. How can you live like that? But anyways, now to the stream that I was talking about. So then he made the stream, the end of cinema as we know it. But he also added an extra, the end of cinema, and and copying stream titles as we know it. I didn't watch that stream at the time because yet again I was busy. I said this in the stream too, but I, I, I can say it here as well. But anyways, I didn't see the stream at the time because I was busy. But one day, I managed to see what this was about. And I was worried. I was genuinely worried. Scared. Thinking... I'm about to lose somebody that I've trusted because he thinks that if I talk, if people talk about the Darkest Hour name, he will block them. And if they, if I talk about him, he leaves. I tried carefully to talk, but I'm pretty sure he found out immediately. So... I asked my friend to talk to him. No response. 
I'm not going to mention his name here because it's best not to mention anybody here in this video. But after, so a couple minutes ago, I woke up. He says he's free. In his newest name, instead of the darkest, our, our darkest hours here, it says, I'm finally at peace. Now, I got a lot to talk about here. Why with the repetitive use of the sonic profile? You used it three times now. In your first, in your, in your first profile, it was just a regular Sonic character, modern Sonic. Then it was Dark Sonic from Sonic X. And now it's just another Sonic character. It's, and now it's the, so the movie Sonic from the first Sonic movie. And in his background thing, he has a sun, a rising sun. Not like the sun of New Orleans, I guess. I don't know that song by the animals, but no. He has a rising sun in the background, and the description is horrendous as all hell. He says that he is free from all this bullshit, and he doesn't have to deal with it anymore. And said, better to be talking with someone. Well, okay, not that. There was a last thing he said, what really... I don't know how to say this, but it kind of pissed me off. It says, even if I were to trust some friends, something like that. So here's what I have to say. Gents, how can you be free when all you were so pissed off about was the Rotten Tomato score for The Little Mermaid? How can you be free when you have the guts to to try to block everybody with your Our Darkest Hour is here? How can you be free when I've been your friend for two years and you have the fucking balls to back off and do nothing about it? Jed, I try to help you. I try to help you, but you won't even listen. You think that you being free forever is going to be the best? It won't. Jens, listen. I really, really want you to listen. You are making a very wrong decision here. I don't want you away from... I don't want you to just be free because all you got pissed off about was the Little Mermaid's Rotten Tomato score. That's stupid. Literally, I think by far... The stupidest thing I've ever seen on YouTube. More stupid than Dylan telling me to, you know, to to watch Avatar and Dark Knight Rises at 9, 9 p.m. More stupid than other things. Actually, no. More stupid than, than Jordan and Anthony Traylor making pornography art on a website, whatever that is, uh, Mercy and Friends shit, whatever that is. This is by far the stupidest thing I've ever seen. And it's, and it involves my friend. Jens, if you think I am betraying you, I am not. I was trying to help you. And I don't want you to live, to, to start living your life like this with people on your ass talking about the stupid-ass 2016 era you keep mentioning. So what if they talk about it? Just block them. You don't have to keep saying in every video about the 2016 era that they can go fuck themselves. All you have to do is just block those guys. And what I want you to do is to at least say apology. Well, well, is to at least come back. Jens, listen to me. It's not my fault. This is yours. It's your fault for starting this. You had the audacity to create 
this situation because of the Rotten Tomato score and this side, we are all done for. Jens. Just at least talk to me here. At least make a video or at least in a positive way just say something. None of us here are wanting to betray you. None of us. None of us at all. We don't want to betray you neither. But Jens, please at least do something.